Hi there, just a quick uh, little video of my latest uh, uh, auction score. Uh, I've been waiting for this. I ordered it, I bought, won the auction, and um, it took uh, over a month for them to ship it to the wrong spot. I got lost in a warehouse, uh, finally got it uh, packed and shipped up to me. Uh, but now I'm the proud owner of a uh, Hewlett Packard uh, 3458A uh, multimeter. Arguably uh, one of the best multimeters uh, ever made. Uh, and it's uh, a fairly simple, well, it's a very complex, very powerful, great testing uh, multimeter. But uh, you know, the front panel is very simple, very clean. Uh, and a lot of it is actually designed to be driven by uh, GPIB the HPIB done in a uh, in a rack so the, the meter is designed in that classic um, you know 2 you 19 inch rack uh, sort of size so what I wanted to do was I'm going to send this away uh, for a calibration but uh, I wanted to take a quick look inside uh, and see what we see so let me uh, uh, take the top off and we'll uh, we'll have a quick look so I'm not remotely a uh, uh, an expert in this uh, uh, in this meter. This meter is uh, uh, eight and a half digits. It's uh, exceptionally well made. There's a ton of uh, engineering and thinking that went into it. Um, the reason I wanted to take the top cover off was to get a look in here uh, because let me see if I can zoom that in a bit. Just to get a look in here at uh, let's go let's go in a bit you should get to see one uh, these guys here um, these uh, 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 chips here are a non-volatile SRAM as you can see now what they've actually got is they have a battery built uh, inside them and so when uh, you first turn these on or plug them in and turn them on, that uh, uh, turns on the battery. I believe it uh, you know, uh, fuses a link or something to turn the cell on that's inside. And from that point on, the inbuilt cell itself will continue to uh, maintain the memory that is in the, the SRAM. Um, now, the problem with this is that uh, I believe these things are no longer available. And if the battery falls out, then what you lose is you lose the calibration data for the entire... Uh, device and then you have to go back and, uh, and, and recalibrate it. So I want to send it away for a, a manufacturer calibration primarily to get uh, those uh, items uh, updated. And because my understanding is that when the manufacturer does the calibration they will uh, go in and uh, also uh, update these batteries and because these are mounted on the board as part of that they'll either replace this board or they will um, go and, uh, and replace these units. So I, I need to go check that but uh, uh, that certainly looks like uh, uh, what I have uh, on here. So let's zoom out a little bit and we can see the, the classic uh, design uh, from the mid 80s uh, through and it's, it's just beautiful uh, the way it's been laid out and uh, what it's been trying to, to reach and, and, and hit. Um, and some of the, the, the thinking that went into it, um, you know, there is a, a, a top that fits in over here and this provides an entire section of the meter that is uh, what uh, Hewlett Packard called at the time uh, the interior guard and that is kept at a, a, a no voltage level to stop uh, signals coming in and, uh, and impacting the electrics and electronics inside here. Um, this is the control board. We have a, a power supply. They have a, a cool little uh, feature on the back. Uh, hopefully you can see that here. Is a nice little uh, insect trap uh, cover on the fan to stop things being able to be blown uh, into the, uh, the fan here uh, and be sucked into the, the device. You can see the airflow comes into this area here and uh, comes across the uh, uh, the heat sinks for the power supply and everything uh, before it goes into the rest of the units and uh, then out the side of the, the vented cases. So it's just a, a nicely laid out uh, unit. There's a journal 
uh, April April 1996, I think, the uh, the HP Journal um, it is dedicated to this instrument, and it, it, it's just phenomenal. Um, glad I could uh, get it. I got it at a, at a price where. Uh, if there was no problems with the unit, uh, then I got a bargain. And if there was a problem with the unit, uh, because Keyset offer a flat rate uh, repair process for uh, these meters, I would still come out uh, with the unit at a uh, reasonable price, even if I had to pay the flat rate repair. So that's uh, what I wanted to do, was to have a look inside uh, uh, the unit. We'll send it away for calibration. Uh, and then uh, when we get it back, uh, we'll do a little video and see how... Uh, uh, how it operates. Hope you found uh, that uh, interesting uh, and I'm sure there are uh, other videos on the web that uh, 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 people that know far more about the structure of, uh, of the meter than I do. Uh, I'm just starting in uh, on this and uh, uh, if you have those, uh, th those uh, videos, link them in, uh, in the comments uh, below. Hope you found it interesting.